What's up, y'all? It's Mommy Wata, and I'm back. Thank you so much for your support of Mommy Wata Tarot. Please continue to like, share, and subscribe to the content on this platform. And please check out my services on watamommy.com. Let's talk about this next download. These, there are a number of secret groups secret societies, organizations that were coming for you, but now they're fighting each other. They're battling each other, okay? You are no longer their primary concern. They got beef with each other now. But this is divine orchestration here. This is what I'm picking up. So Holy Spirit, what would you like for us to know about this download that I received? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. What is the insight and guidance that you would like for us to have and know at this time from you through me. Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. We are very thankful and grateful for all of the insight and wisdom that you provided us with thus far, Holy Spirit. But what do we need to know about these secret societies? These it's two groups in particular who are fighting against each other, Holy Spirit. But at one point, both of these Groups were coming for someone in the collective, Holy Spirit. So what do we need to know about how you have turned this situation around? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. What do we need to know from you through me at this time? I had to clear that energy from the last reading. Let's go. Ten of Pentacles. That's one of these foundations, these organizations that I'm picking up on. This is a very strong deeply rooted organization and i feel like it's being uprooted it's in a battle right now with another group that is also very successful that is also very prominent one group is a ten of pentacles the other is a six of wands the ten of pentacles could be older or have been established longer than the other group but this six of wands makes just as much traction, even if they haven't been around as long. Okay, it's like the pinnacles versus the wands. It's some shit like here. I'm telling you, this is the king of pinnacles and his group. Okay. And as of late, this these um these wands been coming for them spiritually. It's been some sort of spiritual battle. And they've been losing. Y'all, I'm trying to tell you what I'm picking up on now. And they've been losing. They've been battling each other. And at one point, both of these groups, the Pinnacles and the Wands, was coming for you. Now, gang, gang, I'm just telling y'all what I'm picking up. But the Wands has been winning. The Wands has been winning. And this is where they've been having the pinnacles in the death and the tower. They've been battling each other and they've been winning these battles as of late. So the pinnacles is trying to figure out what they could do. They trying to come up with some sort of plan. They trying to manifest some sort of spiritual action that they can utilize to defend the wands. They like the water wands because this water sign, Scorpio energy in particular with fire Leo energy. And then there's this earth sign energy, straight up earth sign energy. That's why I said this 10 of Pentacles is a more established, prominent group. Their roots were deeply dug. Like you have to dig deep. You got you they dig in deep to uproot this ten of pentacles, I'm telling you. And they they not they wasn't ready. But now they're trying to figure out what they can do to cause some I'm trying to tell you, they're trying to figure it out. But the irony about this is that both of these groups was coming for you. That's what I'm getting now. Both of these groups was trying to have you in the five of pentacles, this 10 of pentacles in particular. And that might be why they really catching it. Cause they were coming harder for you 
than this wand, the wands was. The pinnacles was coming harder for you than the wands, okay? And I'm telling you, God is orchestrating this. There was an unexpected shift for the pinnacles after they kept trying to have you in the five of pinnacles. Now they're here. And the universe is letting the wands kick that the water wands kick they ass, y'all, and came up with whole crew names. I'm telling you. <laughs> well, I pick it up on. Oh, you see it? You see it. Okay. They ain't expect to be getting their ass kicked by the water wands. Two of swords. They've been they've been halting things for this, this particular conglomerate that was fucking with you. They've been defeating their ass. I'm telling you, five of swords, ten of swords. And there's a king of wands at the water wands helm that's been leading the battle against the pentacles. And they've been beating their ass. They've been defeating them. I'm telling you. So why they beefing, Holy Spirit? What made them start beefing? Can we have clarity about that, please? And thank you. Because, again, King Wands falling right up under the Six of Wands. Both of these groups was coming for you at one point, but why they beefing with each other now, Holy Spirit? What shifted in the atmosphere here? Ooh, what was that? Ooh, Two of Wands in reverse. Whatever this King of Wands was leading his society to do against you, that shit backfired somehow. His plans against you backfired. Seven of Wands. And it went back to them somehow. And this King of Wands thinks that the reason why it backfired, what they were planning to do against you is because this Ten of Pentacles spiritual attack was an interference. Seven of Wands, seven of Wands is falling right up under the three of pentacles this king of wands they they like the sword they got sword wand and water energy this pinnacle energy just got pinnacle energy that's what i'm noticing but this six of wands the the water wands they got sword energy too and he look aquarius energy he looked to see who or why what he hoped to achieve, what he hoped to align in his group's favor against you didn't work. And it was some sort of reaction that occurred because both of these people was trying to spiritually attack you at the same time. That's what didn't happen now. And he figured that out. But instead of taking that as a sign that they may just don't need to spiritually attack you, because it backfired. It caused them, it caused something for an Aquarius in particular who's a part of this King of Wands group. Remember, it, with the Six of Wands energy, it's, a, it's Scorpio heavily and Aquarius and this fire sign energy within their group, Leo energy, okay? And, and, and it's Aquarius, Leo, and Scorpio energy in the Water Wands group. And again, in the Pentacles group, it's nothing but earth sign energy. If you look at how things have come out, it ain't been nothing but earth sign energy representing the Pentacles. And that might be why they getting their ass kicked because they're only using a certain form of magic. And these people is using multiple elements against them. But whatever this King of Wands tried to do to you, it backfired on a, a flunky in his crew. Okay. And he went to spiritually spy and see why her ass got fucked up when he sent it. He sent that same energy to you, whoever you are. See, you outside of this situation. Yo, who you are, you ain't even out here. Because this ain't got nothing to do with you. God then shifted their conflict with you to a conflict amongst themselves. That's what's happening right now. And he was pissed that her ass got fucked up. And he he saw that it was because they were coming for you simultaneously. So now he got beef with them. Mm. 
justice. Now he want to enact justice against these pinnacles because he feel like low key, they helped you obtain justice unbeknownst to them. But them, both of them trying to spiritually attack you simultaneously cause some shit to have a counter reaction of some kind. I'm telling you, like, it made that shit reject. It, it backfired somehow. And you, you still sitting in the sun in the three of cups. Okay. So he really pissed because his girl done got fucked up. This queen of swords, Aquarius energy is given the partner of this king of wands. So he really coming for them behind his bus down. <laughs> Child. Yes, he is. Now he coming for them behind his bus down, honey. Mm -mm. Temperance. And the universe is letting him. The moon on the bottom with the chariot. There's a cancer here too. There's some sort of cancer energy here. Like this sick, the water wines, they they roll deep, okay, spiritually. They real hot headed spiritually. They, they don't care about breaking spiritual laws. They don't care about getting spiritual clearance. They're going to do anything to win a spiritual battle. Okay, but that's why this Aquarius fucked up too now. And the Ten of Swords is coming out right before the King of Wands. So even though he, he putting this energy on them, what you send out is going to come back. No matter who you sending it out to, it's going to come back. No matter if you think they deserve it, it's going to come back. Hangman. And that's what's about to happen to the water wands. I'm telling you, the universe is kind of letting them dig a deeper hole for themselves because they already took a major hit when whatever backfired onto this queen of swords. But now they're coming at this entire group trying to sacrifice them somehow. And the, the pinnacles may have took some losses but they're not giving up the fight. And I'm telling you, they in the Page of Pentacles magician. They done came up with something that is going to restrict the water wands. I'm telling you. They done came up with something that's going to restrict these water wands, including this moon water energy, this cancer energy. Like it's a cancer, it's a Scorpio, it's a Leo, and it's an Aquarius involved in the water wands specifically those are four key players all they ask out here this ten of the pinnacles are more conservative i'll say with their energy they not letting themselves be exposed to everyone who can pick up on them and that's what's then help them keep themselves going so long okay and it may seem like this group the water wands is uprooting them with this five wands but the way they move is definitely more strategic it's more seasoned it's more practical it's more logical and it's more grounded and they gonna make them water wands have to start anew not the other way around, okay? They may be losing the battle, but the the war has yet to be won. This King of Pentacles has a partner in crime, and this King of Wands has... A new partner in crime because this Queen of Swords and got fucked up. And both of them are hoping that they're going to be able to leave. Um, look, they're hoping that with the utilization of these new energies, not new to them, but they're pulling these feminines in to help them ensure that the future remains bright for both groups, okay, during this spiritual battle. And both of the groups are hoping that this Queen of Pentacles and this Queen of Wands will help them pass judgment on the other and leave the other group in regret. That's what both of these groups are doing. 
They feel like, look at this, they feel like both of these women are chosen and that they have that extra je ne sais quoi. That's what I'm hearing. That they got that extra bit they need to defeat the other. But it's given, it's given something similar to what happened when both of them tried to attack you at the same time. Knight of Wands. Something bold and erratic is going to happen as a result of these people's efforts against each other. Because it's like they got the same idea right here. They got the same idea. Clarify, Holy Spirit. And this King of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles in reverse, child, y'all think I'm playing. They got the same metaphysical idea to use against each other, and it's going to boomerang back to both of their ass. That's what I'm picking up. They're going to take each other out. That's what's going to happen. And I'm telling you, this King of Pentacles, he is the one who makes all the primary decisions, but he don't really be giving other people too much of a say so. Like he be in the three of pentacles, but it's like he takes the action. He don't put everybody at risk. But this king of wands, this king of wands put everybody ass at risk. He don't care. Everybody is a, a major player in the game. Everybody gonna get everybody taking the same level of risk. Everybody gonna get the same level of karma i don't think that they realize that maybe this queen of swords do now that she didn't got a backfire from dealing with him dealing with this this conglomerate clarify holy spirit because i'm telling you it's like she out of commission look what was on the bottom of this deck though page of swords it's like she sees the effects seven of wands that can occur from playing around with this group. That's why he didn't have to get a queen of wands. Clarify her judgment. I'm telling you. Clarify Holy Spirit. Please and thank you. What do we need to know about this queen of swords. And what she has awakened to. Because she's somewhere trying to heal y'all. She's somewhere trying to heal from whatever they sent to you. That backfired on her. And instead of this King of Wands taking that as a sign to stop uh, stop this all together, he coming for this other group now. So what do we need to know about this Queen of Swords? I'm telling you, and she see what's coming. Because she's all these people got spiritual gifts and abilities. They do. It's how they choose to use them. Let's go, Holy Spirit. What do we need to know? Justice. She sees, look, justice came out right behind her in this other deck. She sees how this King of Wands used her to enact justice against you and how it has got her in a pickle right now. That was his plan. She know. She know and she took the risk. She, she agreed to take the risk. Just like all these people are about to take some sort of risk using the energy of these two feminines. I don't know what this spell is. They both about to try to do but this Queen of Pentacles is a primary part of it for the Pentacles. And this Queen of Wands is a primary part of it for the Water Wands. Okay? But she saw this Queen of Swords realized that he was using her. And that's why her, her fate, her karma ended up being this Ten of Swords energy she's currently in. She in the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Mm. Did this King of Wands drop this Queen of Swords? And look, the Nine of Swords when I cut the deck. And the Holy Spirit said, that's the truth. Death out here again. Because he has dropped her. He has dropped her. He was mad. Nine of Cups. He was mad that she got hurt, but he didn't found a replacement just that quick. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Queen of Swords in reverse. 
Queen of Cups. Remember, there was a Queen of Cups and a Queen of Wands that this man then picked up to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this other group. Eight of Pentacles, child, look at this. And that's why they got this Queen of Pentacles at this, that they going to use. The energy is repeating itself. So they got these females going toe to toe with each other now, technically. And he's dropped this queen of swords. That's a shame. She came out here in reverse, y'all. He didn't let her get all fucked up. Ten of swords, nine of swords. And he then dropped her and is still trying to win. And then moved on to two other women. What's going to be the final outcome of this, please? And thank you, Holy Spirit. What do we need to know about the final outcome? Three of Pentacles. This Ten of Pentacles. The Pentacles think that they, they, got, they got it in the bag. They think they have the education and the knowledge to defeat the water wands, this king of cups group, because there is a Scorpio here as well. Five of swords. But I'm picking up that they're going to defeat, they're going to defeat each other. Clarify Holy Spirit. And then we're going to close. Page of wands, page of cups, four of cups. over here there's a king of cups Scorpio in the water wands group who is encouraging them to keep going for some reason this king of cups energy is fusing with this king of wands they could be two different people Cause he's out here twice as the King of Wands and then the King of Cups came out here. But I think he's been trying to convince this group to keep going. Okay. But they're, they're starting to be disconnected from why they signed up for all of this magic in the first place. Cause they life been getting fucked up. They have been experiencing disappointment with this four of cups. They see how he dropped. It's something like they, they're this, Water sign and this fire sign. He done really been laying it on thick now. Trying to inspire them to keep working with him to win this war against the pinnacles. But they don't really see how it's benefiting them already. These two new energies he's pulled in since this Queen of Swords is out of commission. There may only be one other man here, but there's definitely three women on the water wand side that are active participants. And one of them have already gotten put down, five of cups. They know. Both of these women are well aware of what this queen of swords has went through. And they wondering if that's a peep into what's going to happen to them. And it is. That's exactly what's going to happen to them. Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. That same type of energy is going to come back towards them if they continue to work with him. You know, this routine they've established to keep going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, first with you and then with this other group. Because this pen, the pinnacles are finna send something heavy at them. Ten of Cups. And they are hoping that that'll do it. That that will secure their future again. Because they have been experiencing fear of being uprooted because of what the water wand's been doing. Child, I cannot believe that, that, that these, these people got whole names. That's what I was hearing for both these groups, the Pentacles and the Water Wands, child. Look, this Leo, this King of Wands, I'm trying to tell you, exerting some 
extreme spiritual force against this other group. And damn, they didn't damn near forgot about you, honey. Going at each other so hard. Okay. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Final messages. We ain't got to stay here long. Ten of Wands. I'm telling you, both of these groups is going to end up taking themselves out. By the time this Leo does what he think he finna do with this Queen of Wands and this Queen of Cups, he going to be at the Ten of Wands. Okay? And the Ten of Swords is falling right up under this Ten of Pentacles. Whatever they think they about to do. That shit is not going to pan out either. Nine of Wands. King of Pentacles. He finna be here. Experiencing some sort of destruction in his life. As a result of the actions that he is about to take. Against this King of Wands group. To put them in disarray. That shit going to come back to him. So you know. Again what you send out. You will get back in return. And he is about to invest some seeds that is not going to give him the harvest that he's expecting because he's hoping to get a win. He's hoping to boss up over this king of wands once and for all because he's been kicking his ass. But he's up under illusions as well to think that this is how he going to do it. I'm just saying. Because they about to close out the cycle for, for both of them with what they're about to do to each other. And you ain't going to be having to worry about neither one of these groups no more in a minute. For real, for real. Devil. Because they in the seven of wands to the devil towards each other. And this type of energy is about to cancel both of the, these groups out. And I'm dropping the mic. I hope this message helps someone. I hope it gave you insight and guidance on how you should move forward. But always remember, y'all, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates, leave the rest, and I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.